because this is also good for energy i forget to mention it's also good for energy so it's also going to help me when i have my coffee plus this in my system i'm going to get a lot of energy so let's have a tablespoon of this Sunday morning today I want to do a, a little video with you all I want to share this with you all it's called a noni I'm going to leave all of the health benefits of this noni normally in Trinidad we would make a lot of noni wine called around Christmas time so right, we would use this to make a lot of noni wine but this is not what I'm going to do we're going to use this for medicine it gives you a lot of energy it has a lot of great health benefits right so i'm going to extract all of the juice from this noni so how am i going to do this you say all right so i already started some already so this is what i have up here so let me explain in this bag i bought some holes right and then when i bought the holes i placed some noni inside of here and then i'm going to place it in this bag this bag has no holes I'm going to place it in here. And we will hang this up. But we're not going to do it like this. We're going to have it a little way off, the second bag, a little way off. And we're going to have it there. All right, I'm going to staple it here. And I'm going to hang this up and let it extract and let it start to ferment and all of the juice will start to run out into this clean bag and then I'm going to remove it up, uh, as long as there is juice coming out of this I am going to leave it and keep uh, removing it and letting it let the process continue so let's get cracking and let me show you how I did this from start to finish and I'm going to show you what the noni juice looks like once we are done so come along with me let's extract some of this all natural healthy noni juice hi i so i said i want to show you how i make the holes to create um, a flow off for the extra hundred with my no name. So as I said, I'm going to show you all that. So this is the two bags. One to collect the juice, one to put the noni in to have it extracted. So what you want to do firstly is to bore holes in the two corners. So I'm going to use one of these. And I'm going to bore two ends first. All right? For most times, that is where you will get most of the extraction taking place. And here, and once those holes are created, you can just bore as you please. So I'm just going to bore all around the bag as much as I can. That way, the process will go faster. And now I'm going to take the noni that I have remaining and placed in here. So let me go and get the noni that I have in the refrigerator and put it in the bag. I'll be back. Went in the refrigerator and I took out the rest of the noni that we did earlier on. So again, this is what the noni looks like. All right. So I'm just. I don't want to use too much. In this one so then when you level four so this is the bag with the hole that we just made I'm gonna place the noni in the bag it 
They don't want to overcrowd the bag because they want them to go. Right? So this is them in the bag here. I'm going to place another layer on top there. And I don't want the bag to be too heavy either because I don't want it to burst. Because I just like bought a hole. Well, you all saw what I did. I placed some staplers in it. So I don't want it too heavy. So this is it. I'm going to seal the bag. Make sure it is sealed properly. I'm going to bore a hole here. And then staple the bottom and on top the hole. And then place a hanger through it. And then I'm going to... This is the bag that doesn't have the hole. Place this in there and we're not going to go right through, okay? We're just going to go halfway. Right, so you see where the bag with the noni is compared to where the second bag is. So I'm going to staple it right here, giving it enough room for the juice to be extracted. Alright, so hope you understand the process. Okay, so now let's staple it. So I have my stapling on. I think I overstapled the last two, so I have to reload this. Alright, so this is a very, very good medication to build your immune system, especially in a time of all this COVID that is taking place. And especially those of you who want to do a detox, you can also use this. So if you want a healthy lifestyle journey like myself, it's good to take at least a tablespoon of the all natural nuni juice every day you take one as a good detoxifier so you can try that every morning so all right so let's get started like i said the bag is going to the second bag we're going to place it high as to where the next to where the Noni has stopped, right? So this is where we're gonna place the first table. This is what I prefer to do. Right? Because I wanna give it enough room in the bottom here for when the juice starts to rot. Right? So we have a lot of room. And we're gonna just staple it. And I want a strong staple, eh? so you want to do that a few times because you don't want it to burst. Okay, so we need to do over that one. Let's do over that one. Alright. So, as I said, we're going to put one here and on the bottom as a brace for when we put it to hang up so it would not stretch too much and cause the bag to break. So. That is basically what, <coughs> what I'm trying to do here. So in between the two staples that I staple here, this is where I am going to place the hole so I can place the hanger in it. So you could st you could staple this other end. Man, I didn't do that in the other two, but let's do it in this one. Yeah, why not? So. We're gonna staple the end here again, just like we just did, just to strengthen it. Staple, cross it to make it stronger. So now I'm going to get a hanger and bore a hole here and put the hanger through. Okay, so I'm back with the hanger. So I choose not to use one with a plastic, but one with that has metal on it. Because remember, this is a lot of load. And as it continues to extract, this will continue to get more heavy because of the juice in it. All right. So I'm going to use the same pick. And as I said, between the two staplers, 
parents bore hole and place place me hanger in it now and I'm going to hang it up just like this this is how we're going to hang it up and let it do its thing I am doing this for 10 days right so the other two that you saw me do earlier plus this one we're going to leave them to extract for 10 days and see how much juice we get but once we are finished after the 10 days so at every day at the same time 6 p.m is when i'm going to check each and every bag all right so on the first day at 6 p.m this is how much we got from the morning i started at 10 it was just after 10 i started the process so when it was 6 p.m in the evening this was how much i had on the first day and it's going really well the ones that extract in faster would be the ones that with the fruits that is more ripe this is day two and you can clearly see how much they have extracted more so in the ones that were ripe at day three same thing more extraction so if you want to do this process and you want this process to go fast i suggest you don't use the green noni but more so the fully ripe noni and the process will surely surely go a lot faster it wouldn't take 10 days it might even take half the amount of time because i had most of my extraction within the first four days so you can clearly see how much the very ripe noni has started to break down so it was breaking down really quickly and i was getting a lot of juice within those days this one however had more ripe than had more green sorry than ripe noni but the other one had more of the ripe noni and that is where we're going so you can clearly see the difference in the stages of how fast they are breaking down and again in the bag at the end there that has the most young noni of them all so that was really taking longer so you can clearly see the difference in those two bags so on the sixth day we are going again and i'm going to show you how slow this process is how slow the extraction is happening it just goes drip by drip so the more holes that you bore on the bag is the more drip you would have in this process and faster it will go and if you use more ripe noni than young but green noni to do this process it would go really faster so the bags on these two were really full so full enough i think i needed to remove them you can see how much in the bag with the fully ripe noni how much that has broken down and how much of juice we have extracted from those two bags the noni was really starting to you know go bad on me so i just wanted to make sure nothing isn't going wrong so i decided to extract the noni juice from those two bags because of how fast those were breaking down so this is from the first two bags i'm extracting the juice and at eight days i'm extracting juice at those because as i said of how much the noni was breaking down and how fast it was breaking down because of how much ripe noni it had in those bags you're seeing on your screen the two empty bags on your left is what i extracted and on your right is the one bag that i left that had the most green noni so this was the bag that i choose to leave back to go for the other two days because remember it all was 10 days so this is what i got these two bags here were the two bags that i already emptied they still continued to drip out and this one was the one that we left for the full 10 days so apparently when i thought those first two bags that i emptied was done it wasn't so in all together in all three bags i got at least two cups each from the three bags so so that is six cups but however i want to also mention that the first two bags that i emptied i got a little more than two cups because as you saw i put back the bags and i got more juice from it so 
and I'm showing you on the screen now the different stages of how much it has broken down the difference between when it's ripe like you're seeing the one I'm touching right now this one was really ripe so all those that has gotten much darker than the others is because those were more ripe than the other ones so therefore they broke down really faster and that's why they have two different color it all depends on how ripe so again if you want this process to go really fast this is the instructions to go by hello so this is the end of my uni juice extract i did it for 10 days so let's get into the whole process so firstly before i begin i want to show you the difference if you use a ripe noni compared to a green noni so the darker one which is with, with which would be the ripe noni and the light colored one would be the green noni the reason there are different colors is because the breakdown process in the ripe noni happen faster than the one that is green obviously it will break down faster so that is why we would have two different color because one was ripe and one was green so what are we going to do with the juice that we extracted from the noni process so i am not going to go into the details again with all the steps because as you saw in the entire video thus far how i extracted the noni from this and there is absolutely nothing left in this noni whatsoever it's absolutely nothing it's just this is what we have here after the process absolutely no juice every bit of juice have been extracted over the past 10 days and this is what we are left with here so i am going to have a glass uh not a glass sorry a tablespoon of noni juice which is this every single morning one tablespoon all right so before we get into more details i'm going to just read as i talk to you here on my computer as to what are some of the benefits of money juice so some of the great benefits and this is just some of many all right so we have lower risk of grout and we have improved skin quality and people suffering with arthritis it's good for that as well and anti-aging we're all looking for something to keep our skin really young and fresh looking <laughs> and most importantly it prevents cancer very big help in that area and we have reduced stress who doesn't want a little more stress in their life and find ways to um, reduce stress without spending any money by any doctor or therapist and, and that kind of thing you boost immune system we are going through a period in our lives these days where we are dealt with this terrible virus we are going to go into no details because we know youtube and the rules here so you know to boost your immune system it is really good to boost the immune system to keep those dangers away from our body and it also helps with so many other stuff that you could also try it to um, detox is a good detoxifier and so if you're trying to lose weight and you want to start on a fresh you know with a fresh system you clean out your system try doing a detox with this every morning so by you just drink it every morning you doing some sort of a detox so it is a good detox it's good for skin cancer arthritis you know so ladies and gentlemen why not give it a try if you have this fruit within your country i'm sure it's available on amazon so you can give it a check so i did this process for 10 days why did i do it for 10 days i wanted to see how much juice i would be able to extract from my noodle within 10 days so let's get into that so the first eight days I had to stop with two of the bags because I realized two of the bags, which was actually the bags with the more riper noni in it. So those two bags 
I had to stop at eight days because I realized there is nothing left in those two bags. So I extracted the juice from that bag and placed it in a, in a container. And I left this this one here that is uh, had more of the green noni for for the full ten days, which would be the two other days left, and which that last ten days would be today. And um, I have to say, I am really impressed with each bag. I got two cups of noni juice. Yes, two cups of noni juice extra. It was really surprising. I didn't think I would have gotten so much, but you know what is funny. When I thought the ripe noni had given me all that all that it could possibly give to me on the eighth day and I extract and I removed that juice from the bag. When I I washed the bag and everything and I just put it back on, on it and put it back to hang just to see what else I could possibly get from it. And while I had the green noni bag still going for the extra two days, you wouldn't believe. <laughs> Those two days extra that I left the one that I extracted when I put back actually. I got more juice out of that for them two days, almost the same amount that I would have in the last bag. So um, those two bags with the ripe noni really, really gave me a lot of juice. So I would safely say the ripe bag of noni, the two ripe bags that I had, gave me more than two cups. I would say two cups and a quarter. I got from the bag that had the ripe noni and the green one, I could safely say I got two cups from that. So, mm -hmm. and so this in Trinidad, they would use it to make wine. So here how that process would take place. That process would take place with you having to put the noni in a container with your sugar and you lock that down there and let that start to ferment. And once that yeast starts to develop, and for however long you intend to run that course, and then you have a really strong, strong wine. Now, if you don't want any sugar and you're looking for a dry wine, you would not add the sugar, right? You would just leave it to ferment in a bucket with uh, the noni in the bucket that's just to ferment, and you will just drink that. But in a technical way, we sort of kind of way make dry wine too. But it wouldn't be as strong or as it would be as the actual wine process because I didn't have them mixing together. Remember what you saw in the beginning, how I had the two bags away from each other. So the fruit and the juice would not be mixing at all. So therefore, there was no big fermentation happening there. So that bacteria wasn't developed. However, you can see the condition of the noni. So you sure if I had the two together, there would have been yeast developing and we would have had an actual wine but you want to know what is also interesting well i don't know why i find it interesting because it's obvious when i removed the noni from the bags the gas that was there whew, had me high i am not exaggerating it was really really strong so you can see that the bacteria is there but there is no sugar to form that yeast for us to get what we needed to make a, like a strong wine. So, um, and that is how easily I made my noni extract juice. And as I said, the benefits are as follows. Lower risk of grout, improve skin quality, good for people suffering with arthritis, anti-aging, prevents cancer, uh, reduce stress, boost your immune system. So why not give this Nuni juice extract a try? And if you don't have um, access to the actual fruit itself, I am sure there are stores selling it. I mean, there is nothing like making it on your own so you know what you're getting, real organic, stuff there is nothing no artificial flavoring no artificial products to improve the quality it's all natural nature did its thing and we got this product from this so i am going to have a tablespoon of my noni extract so what i do as you all know 
I do intermittent fasting. So before I have my breakfast, which is 10 o'clock this morning, I am going to have this every morning, right? It's the best way that I have found that it works for me. Because this is also good for energy. I forget to mention it's also good for energy. So it's also going to help me when I have my coffee plus this in my system, I'm going to get a lot of energy. So let's have a tablespoon of this. And as I mentioned, when you're doing this, make sure whatever room you're doing this in, you're doing it for in a, in a closed space because the smell of anoni is really, really, really pungent. So you want to make sure you have a sealed room or a closed space. I mean, you will still smell it, but not as strong. But if you leave it open and in the kitchen, it will have your entire house really smelling horrible, especially for the first 48 hours. So I would suggest if you're doing this, do it in a closed space. All right. So i do hope you enjoy watching this whole process with me and thank you all so much for your constant support and i do hope to see you again with my next video and don't forget to check out chocolate and chit chat every wednesday at 6 pm thank you bye